It is about 95 BC in Zarahemla. Alma the Younger, son of the prophet Alma, and the four sons of King Mosiah rebel. They seek to destroy the Church of God until they are commanded by an angel to repent. Based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. He troubles you. His betrayal troubles me. Our son. He seeks to destroy the Church of God. We have done all we can. Even the people have been praying for him. The Lord will answer our prayers according to our faith. Heavenly Father, Our son, Alma, he does speak much flattery to the people, giving a chance for the enemy of God to exercise his power over them. Please, Father, we pray that he might be brought to the knowledge of the truth that he might be convinced of the power and authority of God. That he will seek to destroy thy church no more. It's time. Are you with me? Alma, we are. But are you certain about this? We have a plan. We are with you. Arise and stand forth. For why persecutest thou the church of God? The Lord hath heard the prayers of his people, and also the prayers of Alma, thy father. For he has prayed with much faith concerning thee, that thou mightest be brought to the knowledge of the truth. For this purpose have I come to convince thee, that the prayers of his servants might be answered according to their faith. Now, go thy way and seek to destroy the church no more, even if thou wilt of thyself be cast off. Oh, 
Please, let us in. Oh, what happened? An angel of God appeared to us. He descended as it were in a cloud. And he spake as it were with the voice of thunder which did cause the earth to shake. He told us to stop the work of destruction among the people or, or we would be cast off. Go and bring others. They must know what the Lord has done for my son. Ammon. And what he has done for you. assemble ourselves together to ask thee to open the mouth of Alma's son that he might speak and also that his limbs might receive their strength that the eyes of the people might be open to see and to know the goodness and glory of God Do you think you know me father this is not who you are I've rebelled against my God. This proclamation declares that no unbeliever shall persecute any of those who belong to the church of God. Man, there are false traditions of your fathers. You don't have anything. You don't have... There is one who will come. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, to atone for the sins of the world. Jesus, thou Son of God. Have mercy on me. I'm in the gall of bitterness, and I'm encircled about by the everlasting chains of death. Alma, marvel not that all mankind, yea, men and women, all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people must be born again, yea, born of God, changed from their carnal and fallen state to a state of righteousness, being redeemed of God, becoming his sons and daughters. And thus they become new creatures. of my sins and have been redeemed of the Lord after waiting through much tribulation repenting nigh unto death the Lord in mercy has seen fit to snatch me out of an everlasting burning and I am born of God My soul hath been redeemed from the gall of bitterness and bonds of iniquity.
was in the darkest abyss, but now I behold the marvelous light of God. My soul was racked with eternal torment, but I am snatched and my soul is pained no more. I rejected my Redeemer and denied that which had been spoken of by our fathers. But now, he will make himself manifest unto all. He every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess before him, yea, even at the last day, when all men shall stand to be judged of him. Then shall they confess that he is God. began from this time forward to teach the people, publishing to all the people the things which he had heard and seen, and preaching the word of God.